Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert JSON file with hierarchy to the CSV file by using Dataflow in Azure Data Factory. So here is our JSON file and uh, it has ID, it has age, and then it has object info that has first name and last name. Then I have another object, skills, uh, that has uh, skill 1, skill 2, and skill 3. And then uh, the next record starts. So, so we would like to convert this uh, JSON file to the our csv file so we will have id first name last name age skill one skill two and skill three so that's what we would like to do now let's go ahead and start working on it and here is my storage on which i have input folder and that's where our json file is sitting now so let's take a look this is exactly same data that i just showed you on the ms paint now let's go back to the azure data factory here and create a data flow so you will be going to the data flows and create new data flow in the add source drop down you will say add source and then create a data set as our file is sitting on the blob storage so as your blob storage and then uh, it is the json file select the json file and then uh, use uh, the linked service to the blob storage so all these uh, linked services are pointing to the same blob storage i was using for demo so not a big deal navigate to the our input file JSON file and uh, here we are all good now uh, what you need to do here you need to understand a little bit uh, information here so your JSON setting is set to the document per line so it is a single document or document per line or array of documents so if you see right there in our format we have this square parenthesis around our entire JSON and inside of that we have object of set of objects that means we have an array of objects so that's what we need to select I'm gonna select array of documents so that will be true for our case and then we are gonna bring the drive column so click on plus sign type drive column and uh, here uh, what we will do we'll go to the add new column uh, all those columns uh, what are inside those objects uh, that can uh, come outside of that object and become the part of the main uh, uh, column list so we have to bring them out uh, so here what i'm going to do i'm going to say f name right and then uh, we'll go to the expressions and open expression builder uh, here f name will be mapped to the right here in the info we have a f name right there so if you have multiple um, uh, nested hierarchies uh, so that's going to be just fine so let's say under the info you have another hierarchy then you will select all the way to the column that you would like to select in my case uh, i have this info hierarchy i'm going to select f name so you see right there info dot uh, first name then uh, uh, what we will do we'll create another column here column and i'm going to name that column l name so last name and here we will select under the info we'll select this column so see right there so this is a hierarchy then you have name if you have multiple ones of sub hierarchies then it will say info dot some whatever the name of nested hierarchy then the column so it's very easy so you will keep adding those columns now just save it and uh, as we would like to get the skills out as well from this hierarchy then uh, we are gonna do as well so add column and uh, in this case this column is going to be skill one skill one and click right there and then go to the skills and select skill one now we will add uh, another columns called skill two skill two and we should be fine here just select uh, the second uh, key from the skills and then go to the next one and then we call this one skills 3 skill 3 and click right there and then we will select skill 3 we are all good here finish and saved and these are all the columns are created now you can preview the data and what's going to happen these all newly added column will show you on the right side one of the things I notice uh, when uh, some people uh, preview the data, the scroll bar doesn't work all the way. So you have to scroll down all the way and then uh, scroll uh, horizontal on the right side to see the newly added columns. Uh, so many people like they add these columns but still they struggle like oh i don't see my newly added columns so what i'm doing wrong so that there is nothing wrong actually a scroll uh, has to be go all the way and on the vertical and then the horizontal scroll has to be on the right side 
So see right there, I have this ID, age, info, then skill. Now, it is not, uh, if I will have a lot of records, I would have uh, some uh, scroll down here. But uh, right now I have just a horizontal. So I just need to move all the way there to see my newly added columns. See right there, so these are coming uh, just fine. Now I have these columns, I can, I'm can. i gonna ignore these ones because I just need uh, these values. I already extracted that value out from these uh, uh, list right there of objects. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the sink here. And now in the sink, uh, I am going to use a data set and blob storage is fine. Go to the CSV and then uh, select uh, the link service. And then I'm going to navigate to the container output container and hit OK. And here, uh, yes, the first row has header. That's fine. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to the settings here and then uh, I will uh, uh, be just fine. I don't think so. I have to do anything here. And uh, now I'll go to the mapping and in the mapping, I'm going to go auto mapping disable and select the columns I need. Um, so see right there, this is a object uh, that I don't need because I already extracted the first name and last name right here from this. Um, also skills object, I don't need it because I already have uh, the column extracted from a skills object. Uh, so I'm going to delete that. Uh, now I have ID, name, first name, uh, sorry, age, first name, last name, skill and all that. Uh, so that's uh, all the column I needed and uh, now I should be all good here and uh, that's uh, you can preview that if you want but anyways I'm going to go ahead and run the pipeline. So add a new pipeline and uh, this pipeline we will uh, just drag uh, data flow to. Now we can go ahead and uh, one thing we missed actually go to the sorry data flow here, go to sync and go to sync here, go to the open and here we did not provide the file name. So let's provide uh, JSON to CSV file, file dot CSV. Okay, so that should be it. Now we go back here and uh, we should be all good. Let's uh, run the pipeline. It says that sync data set file path cannot contain a file name. Please remove the file name from the delimited. Okay, let's see what uh, mistake we made here. So we go to settings here and then uh, say default output to single file. Now we can give the name here. We say yes, uh, output to single file. And here we will say CSV to JSON, sorry, JSON to CSV file.csv. Okay, that's uh, that should work just fine. Okay. Now we go back to pipeline and debug and still there because we did not remove that. So we are going to go open and remove from here. Now we should be good. Now we debug. It's going to read our JSON file and then uh, create a CSV file. Our data flow has been completed successfully. Let's go to the output uh, container and take a look. Uh, here is my containers and output container. And remember, we have JSON to CSV file. That's our newly file created. We are going to go to edit button here. And you can see that we have ID, age, first name, last name, skill one, two, three, and all that. So it uh, worked just fine. So we have uh, converted our JSON file to the CSV file. And there was some hierarchies. So we dealt with that. And I showed you if you have more in nested hierarchies, how to convert ba them back to the columns. So I hope this video will help. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.